All right, I wanted to show you the Cardinals. They're finished. They've been antiqued. And uh, this is the little, let me try to hold it like this. How does that sound? They're antique and sprayed, and they're finished. And this is the one that you put a little eye bolt in it and hang it from the uh, kitchen, or I mean, hang it from the in the window, especially something like that. In other words, that you hang in the window, and that would be a cute little thing. Let's get you go down to the hardware store, get you a little eye bolt, and then hang that with a monofilament line or whatever from the window. And you can hang that in your window or whatever uh, when the sun hits it and all that stuff. But that's our more modern day little cardinal that we got. See how it blended in? Now, a lot of you may not like that. Maybe you've got a different way of doing things, but that's all right. But, uh, so how you do it. And here is, of course, the old, the more... The one that I, I like the most, it's the Folk Art Cardinal. It's the one that, that looks old. And now, as you look at the piece, you can tell, you know, this is not a... This looks like it's been worn out. See, a, a combination, a lot of times, see how maybe the paint is not as bright here as in here and stuff? And that's what gives it that Folk Art look. It gives it like it's an older look and this can sit on a shelf in the kitchen like a, a, a bay window or something like that. And it looks as though that is old and the uh, paint has worn in one area and not in another and stuff with age. And I just, I like that style. I don't know, you know, I always have liked to, to make something look old. And I showed a person, uh, the finished piece, and, he, and he, I said, do you think that's, you, can you believe that I painted that yesterday? And he said, no. He said, that, that looks older. He said, it looks like it's been worn and stuff like that. And the black helped that somewhat. Now, once again, you don't have to paint it like that. You don't have to do that. Excuse me. But look, look at the bottom. See how, how it looks like part of it's worn out in here and stuff? And that's was the effect I wanted with uh, this cardinal, this folk art cardinal, to make it look like it was done a long time ago. So, uh, there are many ways that you can do it. I even left some knife cuts in it to uh, indicate that maybe it had been dropped or something like that, in other words. But, uh, there are the two cardinals. And this this would be a cute thing, I said, with the eye bolt and hanging from the... Uh, uh, from a kitchen window and here's our folk art cardinal that sits on the bay window or something like that in the sun or whatever and those are the two cardinals they're finished now and I really like the way this one came out more than anything in the world because it came out the way I wanted so um, I already have somebody that wants both of them <laughs> so anyway uh, has a bay window and she wants the cardinal for the bay window for sure. All right, now, God bless you now. Thank you very much. And these are our two pieces finished. And uh, next, I'm going to carve a folk art fish, okay? I've seen a lot of these in homes. Uh, they're like a, and, and they're, they're very simple to do. They're not difficult. And a lot of folk art is not real difficult to do. Uh, but I see a lot of fish there there uh, and then we're gonna eventually do a a, uh, a goose and other things like that in the folk art style and so this is more like I said this is more of a modern day right here and this is more as you can see of the folk art look to the piece right there all right well God bless you now thank you so much for doing the project with us and uh, God bless you now.